greetings and blessings in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm so excited to bring you God's word today titled Kingdom Citizenship. Kingdom Citizenship. And I bring it from a background of an encounter between Jesus Christ and a man who was called Nicodemus who came to Jesus by night. And that encounter, that engagement is very, very important for us in understanding kingdom citizenship. In John chapter 3, from verse 3 to 6, the Bible says the following, Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered in verse 5, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh. Listen to this. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth uh, to Spirit. There are three things I want to share with us regarding kingdom citizenship. First of all, and this is what Jesus is sharing with Nicodemus, Kingdom citizenship is not a religion. It is a relationship. That's very important. It is not a religion. It is a relationship. And so kingdom citizenship is not a series of, of laws and rules and, and re regulations. Jesus is telling Nicodemus it is a relationship. Nicodemus had, uh, uh, was acquainted with a whole system of rules and regulations uh, given by the temple all the way to the law of Moses. And that is how he tried to uh, connect with God through the crucible of rules and regulations. But Jesus shifts there, him from there and he says, it is a relationship. Kingdom citizenship is walking with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, is getting to know him closely, is making him your friend and uh, you walk hand in hand. And so to be a kingdom citizen, you are called into a relationship and not into a religion. The second thing in this encounter that Jesus communicates to Nicodemus is that kingdom citizenship is not a reformation, it is a rebirth. It is not like bringing an old car that has been in an accident and then it's uh, panel beaten and then repainted. It's not a fix-up fix job. It is not a reformation. It is actually a rebirth. It's got to be a new beginning, a total uh, reworking of God. And therefore, he told uh, Nicodemus, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And so kingdom citizenship is, is when you allow God to, to, to get you started afresh. You bring the broken pieces, give them totally to God, and God gives you something new. It is a rebirth. It is not a reformation. But finally, of course, kingdom citizenship is not a physical change. It is a spiritual change. And that's why Jesus tells Nicodemus, born of the spirit. It is not something that happens in the physical. You can try to panel build, beat your body, uh, fix your outwardly, what you wear, and uh, the things you do, but that's not uh, kingdom citizenship. Kingdom citizenship is a, is a spiritual change, and it is work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit works it out. He removes the old person, and he puts a new person. It is a total work of the Holy Spirit, and it's a spiritual work. And so today, I want to tell you that uh, kingdom citizenship is possible. It is a relationship. It is a rebirth. It's a spiritual change. Nicodemus, after listening to Jesus, later we know that he embraced what Jesus was saying. And he got a relationship with Jesus. He was reborn and he had this spiritual change. And he enjoyed um, his new life. Trying to be religious will just make it so difficult for you. But uh, if you submit completely to Jesus Christ, then he makes you a kingdom citizen and you enjoy yourself as a kingdom citizen. You don't have to struggle anymore. Just let the Holy Spirit 
totally take over. The reason why many people struggle today is because they are trying to be to do what God wants in their own strength and power. But the Holy Spirit is saying, I can come in, make you a new creation, and just make you a child of God. A lion is a lion because he's born in the family of lions. You become a child of God, a kingdom citizen, when you are born into the family of God through the Holy Spirit. God bless you as, as you as you take what Jesus told Nicodemus. In Jesus' name, amen.